Well, we're going to do a short instructional video on triggering of a logic analyzer. We're going to use the Intronix logic port USB logic analyzer. A uh, pretty nifty device with a lot of features. And let's get into the setup right away. You see the screen here, and we're going to set up the signals uh, for the input waveform that we have. We have a 6-bit counter coming in here, the fastest or the least significant bit, which would be the fastest signal, is set up for 2 kilohertz. And that means that I have to have five input signals. So I'm going to wipe out all the uh, signals that I have here. And I'm going to define my signals in the group so that when I look at the data, I can look at the individual waveforms and I can look at the data group together in hex and with a 6-bit counter we should be counting from 0, 0 hex to 3 f hex and then starting all over again and grouping our waveforms will show you show that very nicely so I go to setup this is set up real nice uh, signal names and we'll just go right down through the list for the setup it's pretty easy to work with and I'm gonna call my signals something useful like count 0 that's the least significant bit the whole way down to count 5 and I'm going to keep them in order so that when we group these things together, the bits will be in the right order. And that should take care of naming the signals. The next thing we want to do is create a group. We'll start that on an existing group. And I'm going to double click that to edit it. I'm going to rename it count. We only have six bits, so we're going to go five through zero. And I'm going to get rid of these two signals that were defined there. If I click OK, that will have created that group. Uh, down in setup, also while we're here, we'll set up the triggering. And for this first acquisition, I'm just going to catch the data immediately. I'm going to set up a sample rate of 20 hertz and that will be 10 times as fast as my 2 kilohertz uh, signal which is the fastest uh, changing signal. I'm also going to set up the logic threshold for TTL at 2.0 volts and the pre-trigger buffer which um, how much data are we going to catch before the buffer and half after the buffer and we're going to put that at 50 percent which means just as much data is going to be caught before and after the trigger. And if we go over here to the waveform area and I right click on the signal, I'm going to add a group and we're going to add the counter group that we created. And I'm going to expand that group so that we can see signals in both areas. So we have everything set up. I should be able to do a quick acquisition here. And and if once we take that acquisition, we have to zoom down into the signal. Uh, to take a look and see what's happening here and you can see uh, real nice clean counter waveforms and in this area where I group my digits together we can see the hex counting sequence it's there I'm gonna hit the data acquisition a couple more times while we're watching watching there's really no trigger point but the very center of memory and we'll notice that every time I do a new acquisition it uh, ends up, the data at the trigger point ends up anywhere. So what we'd really like to do is uh, establish a triggering point. And the first way I'm going to do that is come into my setup menu, go to trigger, and this time we're going to set up when level A is satisfied, and we're just going to look for a pattern. That's a thing that you do a lot of times, and the pattern we're going to look for is... Uh, zero, 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 one, zero, zero, which means that I should be triggering right at the point when the count is equal to an eight. So I have that set up. I set up my trigger for that. I'm not going to set up any edges. I'm just going to trigger on a pattern. I hit my acquisition, and we can see that the triggering point right now ends up right at an 8 which is exactly what we set the trigger for and that's the pattern that we're looking for 
um, just to prove that to you, I'm going to set it to 18. I'm going to take another acquisition. That means our triggering point should show 18, and that's the exact point that it triggers at. So everything works pretty good. Uh, this is how you set up a data pattern to trigger on. One other feature, I'm going to click on the most significant bit. I'm going to say don't care. And at this point, that means that it should trigger at 18, but it also could trigger at 38 uh, when bit this counter bit 5 is a 0 or a 1. If I hit the reacquisition, you can see it triggered at 38. I hit it another time, it triggers at 18. And it's going to randomly select one, one or the other of those points as we go through. And that's how you set up the logic port to trigger on a digital pattern. There's some other ways to trigger, and we'll show you those in other videos.